it's kind of nice we can all get together and play some cards. So what do you guys want to play? Palace? Poker? Go fish? Today we play Esperanza the Erman Monster. What? A game from the old country. Well, how do we play? The rules are simple. First, you must draw a Jack. But physically, draw Jack Dawson from the excellent blockbuster movie Ta Titanic. Okay. And then, if you have a king, you must say, I have a king! And then, draw Jack Dawson from the excellent James Cameron movie Ta Titanic. What? Okay. Then, if you have a queen, you hold it up and say, Let me guess, we're gonna draw pictures of Jack Dawson from Titanic. Yeah. Are you doing Peking's Andrew? No. All right, maybe we just play. Hello, this is Katie with Cardholder Services. We've been trying to reach you regarding your member. Who was that? Uh, nothing. Just one of those spam calls. Oh, I love spam. It goes great with eggs and... Hello? Hello, this is Katie with Cardholder Services. We've been trying to reach you regarding your member... Uh, again? How do they keep getting our... Ahoy hoy. Hello, this is Katie with Cardholder Services. We've been trying to reach you... They are relentless. Is there anywhere we can go where these people won't bother us? Okay, a little cold, but at least no one can bother us up. Hello? Hello, this is Katie with Cardholder Services. How do they keep reaching us? Don't worry, I know just the place that they can't. All right, so what's the rules? As I was saying, if you have an ace, you must... Hello? Hello, this is Katie with me. Jeez, this is annoying, even for my standards. Yeah. I think there's only one place in the universe where I know they can't reach us. So are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? We steal their cats and replace them with teeny tiny cats. And then they'll walk around and they say, why is my cat so teeny tiny? No, I was going to say that we should go to the biggest black hole in the universe. So what's the plan? Okay, I put all of our phones into the trash compactor. Now once we get close to this black hole, we'll shoot it into it and boom, no more spam calls. Yeah. Couldn't we have just thrown them in the ocean or a volcano or something? Yes, but this makes for a much more interesting video. Besides, we're already well on our way to- Roberta, what's happening? It's the black hole. It's so big and powerful that it's sucking us in. Quick, crusty face, release our phones. This is our only shot. You got it, guy. Releasing the phones in seven, 14, one. Huh, that was easier than I thought. Yeah, now we can go home and- Hello. This is Katie with Cardholder Services. Now! But, but how? I think I figured it out. All those spam calls had to be coming from somewhere. Maybe she is the source of them. Bingo, it's kind of lonely out here. I was just trying to find some people to talk to. So you called us? You and about 68 million people. Four times a day. Five times on weekends. But what's with the whole cardholder services thing? Well, I figured we'd like need something to talk about and... You landed on cardholder services. What? You could have just told us about you. Yeah. Wait, you guys are actually interested in me? Well, yeah. You're the biggest black hole ever discovered. The whole world wants to know about you. Did it ever occur to you guys that maybe you could have asked me? I know all about it. Before 2022, the biggest black hole ever discovered was named Tom 618. It's located in the constellation Canis Venatici, which is Latin for hunting dogs, about 18 billion, 200 million light years from Earth. That's equal to about 106 sextillion.
sextillion miles from your home planet. Astronomers first spotted it in 1957 from an observatory in Mexico, but didn't realize what it was. At first, they thought it was a faint blue star, but observations a decade later revealed it to be much more. What they discovered was incredible, a supermassive black hole. These types of black holes are the biggest of the bunch, but some experts believe Tongue 618 is so big that it creates its own new category, an ultra-massive black hole. There's a black hole at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, and it is believed that Tun 618 is at the center of a galaxy too. Tun 618 also powers what is known as a quasar. Basically, it's a giant black hole that is feeding on something, and as a result, it has massive energy beams shooting out of it. Quasars draw light from the gravitational energy of the central black hole. Material around the black hole falls in, and as it does so, it compresses and heats up, releasing enormous amounts of radiation. This quasar is so powerful and so bright that it shines with the brightness of 140 trillion suns. So how do we get this lady to stop calling us and the 8 billion people on this planet? Alright, I have an idea. That's a really big black hole, right? And they're almost like toilets. Yeah. Well, what do you do to clog a toilet? Eat Taco Bell? What? We have to shove something huge in it so it stops. I don't think that's gonna work. Why not? Because that black hole is bigger than you could ever imagine. Yeah. When measuring it across, Tun 618 stretches about 242 billion 200 million miles. That's bigger than 65 trips from the sun to Pluto. That's the size of 280,000 trips around the sun. That's so big that if you traveled at the top speed of a blackbird jet from one side to another, it would take you over 12,000 years to cross it. But if we went even faster and traveled at the fastest speed known to man, the speed of light, from one side of it to another, it would take you over two weeks to cross it. And its mass, which is the amount of matter or substance that makes up an object, is equal to about 40 billion of our own suns. How this black hole got so big is a bit of a mystery. A smaller black hole type, called a stellar black hole, forms from the fiery death of a star called a supernova. Once they collapse, this giant supernova explosion births a black hole. And while some believe that supermassive black holes like Tun 618 can form in a similar way, a majority of experts believe that black holes that are as big as Tun 618 do not. Some believe that Tun 618 reached its size from merging with other black holes. Others believe black holes like Tun 618 form from a collision of massive stars. And there are those that think Tun 618 is a primordial black hole, meaning it's ancient and born during the early stages of the universe, giving it billions of years to eat things and grow to its enormous size. But the real answer is, we don't know how a black hole like Tun 618 formed and grew to be such a massive size. But even though Tun 618 is big, there's a potential new, bigger black hole on the horizon. Phoenix A. Much is still unknown about this black hole, but it is said to have officially taken the throne to become the biggest black hole in the universe. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. So much for putting our phones in the trash compactor. Who are you talking to? Well, it turns out the 8 billion people on Earth aren't the only ones bugged by this lady. What do you mean? Let's just say a few of our friends are pretty ticked off too. Like who? I don't think you'll have to wait to find out. Hey, Tun 618. Yeah? Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. That didn't really work out how I thought it would. Let's try my plan. What are you doing? I'm on DoorDash. Doing what? What's the best way to clog a toilet? What? Order some Taco Bell. In space. Hello, 
This is Katie with Cardholder Services. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So what'd you think? Does every spam call ever come from the biggest black hole in the universe? Why do we even call them spam calls? Are they named after spam? Sweet, delicious, mysterious, salty spam? What? Comment below to let me know if you think spam calls are named after spam. Anyway, special thanks to my patrons on Patreon who keep this channel going. Especially Elias Mark Turner, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Olin, JJ Schmidt, Dominic McAvee, Oshi, Erickson and Alexander L, Lava Liam, Christopher F, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Kellen, his mom, Rachel, and his pup, Wink, Wesley C, Millie Fennel, Philip and Anna Buckley, Indra Sriram, Jakey Jake, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Xavier Freeze, Jonathan George Chesselton Kent, GC, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Silas M, Sammy Osif, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Zane and Asher Davis, Alexander, Julian, and David, Liam, Basil, and Louie, Asher Evans, Jack Hartzler, Riker Smith, Creative Devin and Zach T, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Liam and Evelina, Lawson Randolph, Max C, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Jasper Soros Rex, Lawrence from Canada, Gracie, Mama, and Didums, Rebecca Beanie, Sam B and his mom from Tennessee, Virginia and Harrison Way, Jackson Bear Welch, Maddie and James, Noah Whitman, Benjamin M, Luke Raposa, The Puffin Boys, Laser Rosen, Harper Benson, The Gowdy Bros, and Mabsy, Toothless and Light Fury, Kuchan 115, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Zyla, Sam and Eddie from London, Julian, Jackson, and Jacob, Lucas Willette and family, Connor LeCoke and family, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Ben and Ollie, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, John, Arthur, and Alice, Jaden, Danny, and Beeks, Evan Lee, Charlie, Andrew, and William Wallenstein, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Olivia Martin, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Max and Kaz, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Gavin, Hayden, Huggin, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney, and Brian, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, Burning Wick, Max from Southall, Jason the Kid Parker, CL and Django Henry, Mr. Desi and Mr. Bren, Laney, Maddie, and Henry, Callum G, Henny and Liam Drury, the Ravard Boys, Gavin Meidel, Teddy and Josie Burke, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Connor and Emma B, Ada S, Connor Higgins, Stephen McPhee, Charlie Stone, Gavin and Ian Eshte, and Asher Machado. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can help me pick my next topic. You can see my videos early and more. Check the description box for a link. Thanks for watching, guys.